Hi, I'm KT, and today I'm doing a demo video for Defense Innovation. Let's check it out. So I have these new projectiles right here. They made a little bit bigger, and it fits the barrel a lot better, and you're going to get a lot more performance on top of your TR-50. Some people have a hard time loading it, so to load it, you put against your cylinder here. And first couple load, it's going to be a little bit tight because the magazine have not broken in yet, but if you have a hard time pushing your thumb, you can do it. Or what you can do is you can put it against a table like this, push it down. After a couple of loads, it will be a lot easier to put in. It might be a little bit tight beginning, but once you have it in, it will fit nice and perfect. Next, it's going to show you how to load your cylinder. So cylinder, a lot of people have a hard time doing it because it is different length and different size. So it's going to show really quick on that. So you put your cylinder in, drop it like this right there. There's two ways for you to puncture your cylinder. One, use a palm or two fine a table or a solid object to kind of hit it and we'll puncture it for you just pop and you can see that the pressure pin here will come out let you know that's pressurized and ready for shooting now if you were to take the knob off it's going to be pretty tight that is because the pressure in here preventing you from doing that i was putting it earlier with my hand without using a tool that's all you need to do just go into it stop that's it if you are to remove the knob out, you have to use a tool, but that's not a good option to do it because sometimes the pressure can remove the entire cylinder out and that can cause a problem and some people over tighten and cause a problem. So there are two ways for you to remove the knob. One is to shoot it until the air emptied out and keep going. Or two, you can depress this pin down to get the air out. Once it's empty, you can see that it's flat. There's nothing exposed anymore. Now you can just remove the cylinder with your fingers. Like so again, you don't have to go in hard. You just have to go until it stops. That's all you have to do to really put the knob in. Keep in mind, some cylinder will not engage because they're shorter than the other. If you have that problem, try a different brand or contact us and we can make some recommendation for you. We have a new product right here. This is the clip holder. You can just slide over. And this will allow you to kind of hold multiple magazines. It can do one on each side that give you two to carry. Or you can do four, just flip it over here, see a little gear, flip that over right there, and then do the same thing to this side right here. Now you're able to hold multiple magazine with your unit. If you want to use a flashlight, you can still use a flashlight right there at the bottom of the holder. Or if you want to, you can use the holster with the flashlight combo right there. All right, guys, any question, comment, or concern, visit our website, defenseinnovation.com, and we'll support you. Thanks for watching.